Hey, many fish. It's the 9th of February, 2018. And I got to share this uh, connection here with this entire crazy week in the Super Bowl ritual and the fact that I am getting in my spirit a pretty heavy sense of urgency uh, that people need to understand what's going on here, okay? Um, on the day of the Super Bowl, I saw this article and I didn't really think much about it. I just stuffed it off in a tab and forgot about it. And then we all went on watching our satanic ritual go on here, right? Because that's what it was. And, and frankly, folks, this was probably the most powerful ritual that has ever been performed at a Super Bowl or an Olympics or anything for that matter. They were not messing around with this one. This one was to quite literally bring in and to seal the covenant of the Luciferian spirit, the spirit of Satan on this earth. I mean, from the, the, the magic circle with the piano, I mean, all of this stuff. That's crazy. The 88 keys, the triangle shape in the circle creates a magic circle. It's ridiculous the the symbolism and the 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 power that they put behind this one ritual is just off the hook. You know, we all know about the purple. We all know about prints. We all understand that. We all know that when they came out of the building that they're declaring their prints rising. It was put heavy on my spirit that we were looking at Satan's tabernacle erected on earth, declaring his property, if you will, and his, his covenant rests there, and his covenant is in, unleashed out of the tabernacle onto the earth. And that's what this symbol represents, which essentially is the Ankh, which is the male-female, the Eye of Horus, and the you know this symbol here can represent many many things but the circle is the eye of horus okay so you have this representing some very powerful things okay for one i mean to think that they constructed this just for this is absolutely true just like all their other monuments and their grand architectures and whatnot all over the world that's what they are. They're vanity. That's all it is, folks. Everything is vanity. Okay? So they show us this. And at the same time, I'm getting this 4,400-year-old tomb being discovered. Now, interestingly enough, this tomb, which was advertised and publicized pretty good for that day or two, and now it's gone away, um, this tomb was dedicated or built for however they put it for the goddess of fertility and motherhood named Hathor okay now you got to understand this dynasty is going back 2494 to 2345 BC that's a very important time frame think about it but Hathor okay this this is all Nephilim stuff folks this is what is being given to me to tell you is they are about to unleash what little old Hathor here was doing back in her day the mother of Horus okay with their Nephilim knowledge and all their black magic that they learned from the best that's what they did and these walls do not depict as they tell you in the articles uh, monkeys dancing and so forth this is showing how they would take DNA and create various types of chimera creatures, how they would go about the rituals, all of it. It's all right here. I mean, look at this guy. This Look at this guy right here. It has a tail, okay? Here's your little rabbits. They're doing something with the testicles. They're conjuring down here. I mean, this is insane. That's exactly what this all is. And what the message that I'm getting to give to you is that this has arrived. Things are going to start to be uh, manifesting in this world that are going to make people literally die for fear. And this is the biggest announcement that's ever been made right here. It's just that simple. 
the connections we can throw at this as well are off the hook as far as timing the d the seasons we're in the signs we're seeing it's on it's on stronger every day folks so <laughs> i had to just share this with you they're telegraphing that these chimera the pit basically are going to be emerging that's what it is and i get confirmation after confirmation that i'm on the right trail he even led me check this out the father led me to even look at what it took to build that stadium I, everybody's looked at this stuff forgive me if i take a while to find this stuff i have everything it's just there's a million windows the stadium he says look into that not only the 44 that i'm seeing just everywhere but he says the look look at when it was built between december 3rd 13 and july 22nd 16. so i do that and it's 963 days okay 963 folks in the occult world is extremely powerful that is a combination of power for conjuring and for spells and black magic and whatnot right so it's 963 days and then I, I'm just searching around about the tabernacle that Moses built in the wilderness. And I find this breakdown of it, which I will link the sanctuary and the tabernacle. And oddly enough, it starts in Exodus 19, 1 through 11, 9, 11. And it goes through the time period, you know. And they only had nine months to build the tabernacle, to gather all the materials. And so it explains it they had nine months it took six months to gather everything and fabricate all the articles and then it took three months to erect it so there's your nine six three and that's the that's something he just showed me and i was like wow that is crazy this was in the cake for millennia folks just building up to this time we're in and you need to be in jesus christ you must know him and cleave to him and if you don't know him seek him but first you've got to understand that this darkness emerging is real and that there's no escaping it there's no hope in this dark world the only hope is the light of god jesus christ it's just that simple you know i've gone through it all folks don't bother with going through all the other you know esoteric and studies and all these things because the Bible has it all. You just have, you got to open it and you got to have a humble heart. The things they're depicting in these images, folks, I'm not kidding you. The, the world's just going to lie to you. This is, this is horror central coming upon the earth. Plain and simple. Now, there's a couple other things I wanted to share with you. The fact that it goes back 4,400 years is crazy. Because if we look at a timeline, okay let's take a look at a timeline of the bible if we go back 4400 years and it showed you in the article right that you're going back in the time frame 24 to 2300 bc right well gee whiz that puts us right in the smack dab middle of the flood and then shortly thereafter see that like right at the same time. And why did the flood come? What, what was the flood all about? There were giants in the earth in those days. And after. And if you look in different different uh, versions. It was Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterward. And this dates us right back to the flood. That they dump on us right during their <laughs> giant ritual. You see where I'm coming from now? Things are coming, folks. That's all I can really say to you. Things are coming that are just not going to be pretty, and you need to be standing firm on the rock of Jesus Christ. End of story. And uh, I think I think that's about all I got with you, but there you have it. I hope this makes sense and blesses someone. Seek Jesus today, folks. Time is short. Peace and grace to you, any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God.
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 